Chris is with us in uh, Indiana. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, uh, my in-laws approached my wife and I uh, thinking of giving us a large percentage of what would be our inheritance from them here in the next you know, couple of years uh, or sooner. Um, I guess their fear is that, uh, you know, if they go into a nursing home or some type, some situation like that, that that would soak up a lot of those resources. Mm -hmm. And I just, I had some qualms about it. You know, it's their money. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts. It doesn't work. Okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. You cannot make yourself look broke when you're not broke in order to get the nursing home provided by the government on welfare. Gov- mm-hmm. Free nursing home from the government is for welfare. It's for broke people. And if you if you move your assets out of your name, the go- the, ner- the government can look back five years on some things and ten years on the other and disqualify you from getting free nursing home care. You don't qualify mm-hmm. from, for welfare because you gave all your money away. Yeah. That's what it amounts to. It's, it's called fraud. They call yeah, it welfare I mean, fraud. That's what the government calls it. And they will yeah. come down on their head if they find all of this. And they'll look back five years, and if they smell a rat, they can go back ten years. And so their their motivation for doing this is wrong. How old are they? Uh, just in their late 60s. Tell them to go get uh, long-term care insurance. Okay. That takes care of their nursing home bill. And, and you know, here's the thing. The nursing home bills are not, I mean, they're bad if you're broke, but how much money have these people got? Oh, uh, I just think it'd be on the order of 100000 I, I'm not, I'm just speculating. They've not given me any okay. real numbers. Then they need to get long-term care insurance immediately, mm-hmm. and it's going to cost them, you know, $2,500, $3,500 a year, and it's worth every penny of it to protect their money. But, no, they do not need to transfer assets uh, in order to falsely qualify for welfare. It's not only morally wrong, it's legally wrong, and the government will come down on them if they catch them doing it, and they do look at this stuff. And the average okay. nursing home stay is only about three years, so it would eat up a hundred grand. Okay. Uh, if, yeah. if they did go into a nursing home and don't have long-term care insurance. But most long-term care insurance policies now cover about three years of nursing home care. So I would spend the money on long-term care insurance, and I would go get it today if I was in this situation. I would not try to hide assets to falsely qualify for welfare. You were right to feel funny about this.